most of the videos are titled infinite banking concept how to do the strategy how to incorporate it so that's sort of my fault this is how i'm improving the content sharing with people now okay look let's get let's understand the core value of this product how it actually works if we get sold around that if that makes complete sense then these added strategies and opinions are just going to enhance the the base of the product itself so whole life has a death benefit has living benefits living benefits being the cash value with the whole life product there's no um, age limit when you can take money out right so you can put money in the first year and you can take it out that same year so it's more flexible than all of these accounts above type of product is not an investment it's a protective financial product it protects it also protects the person investing in these accounts their human life value life value protects the portfolio you get sold on that this will do you very well because you're like i'm protecting my human life value i'm protecting my portfolio remember i was talking about earlier having a buffer volatility vehicle buffer volatility vehicle so whole life acts as a buffer in terms of the living benefit the, the cash value the money grows tax-free right just like a Roth money grows tax-free in here it's after tax dollars going in grows tax-free you can withdraw the money tax-free you can borrow from the money so if there was a year where my retirement accounts lose value and I have let's say the same two million dollars maybe i got a million dollars here maybe i got two hundred thousand in the roth two hundred thousand in the hsa one two one four and say you got 600k in in whole life the money in the whole life when my million loses 10 percent, instead of pulling money that year from the 10k pull it from the whole life pull some from the hsa pull some from the roth ira until boom the account recovers and it goes up again so that was your buffer just for that one year huge benefit there opinion this is opinion and strategy when it comes to how we save money versus how we invest in, in my brain it's two different dollars they're both us dollars but they operate differently the purpose of my savings dollars is to never lose the savings dollar right so i only save my money in whole life insurance and i invest my money in a brokerage account or that could be considered a retirement account so i invest my money in a brokerage account right here i invest my money in a roth ira i invest my money in a hsa i save my money in a whole life when i borrow against it invested in these different accounts you get sold on the core we talked about the core facts death benefit living benefits human life value protection protects the portfolio it's a buffer volatility vehicle great the strategy is the idea of becoming your own the the concept the process of self-financing certain things to recapture interest and costs the idea of of having your own capital vehicle to invest in other projects and create positive arbitrage and the idea of being able to have my savings dollars get a higher rate of return internally in the policy that would outperform a cd a bond a money market a checking a high yield saving it'll outperform all of these things over a 10 plus year period and if i plan on having this my whole life until death it it then pays a final benefit a massive payout to the heirs and then they can distribute it across all their accounts and it that starts the process of creating generational wealth from generation to generation in in such a unique way that the money never runs out give you facts opinions timing when do i get it when should i get a whole life denzel simple answer as soon as possible you need to get it now if you're 50 if you're 40 if you're 50, 35 you're 30 you're 28 you should get whole life now your most fundamental product itself see all the fomo that i'm giving you i gotta run it through my processing system denzel i gotta do some due diligence do my homework run the numbers make sure i have enough cash flow to fund this thing for my whole entire life what's practical what's reasonable does this fit into my current system my current financial plan to get me out of what i'm currently doing to improve my situation yes okay great yeah it would make sense to to save money first because we don't maybe we don't know how to invest most people don't know how to invest right we don't even know where to invest so i think it's more efficient to learn how to save first have a savings system 
build capital, learn about a particular industry that you can invest in and learn, and then you can pull capital from your savings because what is the purpose of savings? For a future expense. If that future expense is an investment or that future expense is an emergency, it can solve for both.